Hi everybody. Um, if I sound a little tired, it's because I have been doing resin all day and collage work. Ah, there we go. And um, basically just being on the floor for like the last five hours. Um, I don't think I updated you on these two paintings. Um, currently uploading videos so i'm not sure which number uh this one is already out um this one's not up yet i don't know what number but um it's beautiful i absolutely love the color all right so i one of my paintings recently Someone mentioned that it looked like it was influenced by Elise Fournier, I believe is how it's pronounced. Um, and I did not know who that was. So I went on to YouTube and took a look at her art. And it's beautiful. In the two videos that I watched, one of them, she squirts the white paint underneath. Um, and I know like Anne Marie has done um, some where she squirts the white underneath and I've had requests for that. Um, so that is what I am going to attempt to do today. Um, normally I have, I have always shied away from doing that because when you torch with a bunch of white underneath you end up with these little pinpoints. And in the video I watched today, she did not end up with those. And um, so I was quite impressed by that. I, as usual, fly by the seat of my pants. I don't know how she mixes her paint. I don't know anything else about her. <laughs> I just watched the video and I'm like, ooh, I want to try that. So um, I will probably go back and learn more about her. Um, but for now, I am going to go ahead and paint. Um, uh, let's see, let's make, I'm going to use a whole bunch of colors. I have not a whole lot of colors left. I have been um, making tons of paper. So I've been pouring on Yupo, but then I bought photo paper and I've been pouring on the glossy side and it works perfectly. So this is Grumbacher Deep Yellow. And the photo paper is less expensive than Yupo. This is Payne's Gray mixed with Prussian Blue. But I've used up so much paint making all these papers and stuff. That I need to have a huge paint mixing session, which always takes quite a long time. I have a meeting tomorrow night, so I'm thinking maybe Tuesday I can squeeze in some paint mixing. So this is, what did I write on here? Grumbacher Deep Violet mixed with Liquitex Basic Light Violet Blue. Or Light Blue Violet. Or, I don't know where the blue fits into that, but it's somewhere in there. This is Mystery Red. Oh, all of them are so hard to open. Probably because I close the lids onto wet paint, like I just did. Then this is a mystery blue. Alright, so I'm going to let that set a minute. I'm going to pour out some white. You know what? The straw can't be used anymore, so I'm going to use it to stir. And quite honestly, I watched the video early this morning. So <laughs> My brain's fried, so I'm probably forgetting a bunch of things that she did. 
Um, but on the positive note, this really makes it kind of my version of it for sure. <laughs> That is cool. Cool to watch. But then don't you end up with like a ton of paint? I think I put too much color down maybe. guessing way too much color. So. If she's watching this, she's probably cringing going, that is so not what I do. <laughs> so at least forgive me for butchering. We're painting. Oh my gosh. I am tired. Okay, this looks like crap. I'm assuming her paint is thinner and she uses less color. Um, this is not good. Um, I could. Hmm. I'm trying to see what I can do to save it, if anything. Look at the low colorful cells. Let's just keep tilting and see what happens. At the very worst, I end up wiping a canvas off. And at the very best, I end up with a canvas I really like, with a painting I really like. I don't think is gonna happen. It's really blurry. Oh good, get rid of that blue. That was ugly. Yeah, no bueno. I just 
well try a hair dryer in it. And yes, I will go back and watch more of her videos. And pay, pay closer attention. not moving. I like this part though. I really like that part. Maybe I will scrape off the part I don't like. really squeaky. It's driving me nuts. I'll have to fix that later. empty. Oh, I should not have... Think about how that would push all of it down as I tilt it. color that's on here. It's slowly moving. Slowly, slowly, but surely. Help it along. <laughs>
these green lines. I'm gonna see how much I can tilt it to get those off while still maintaining the rest. Doesn't want to move off. Okay, we'll just help it move. Give a little kick in the seat. Okay, now I will tilt back down this way. Try and stretch that back out. If it will. Could be moving slower because of the hair dryer, but I only use that for like a second, so could just be that there's not as much paint on here anymore. But it is moving in the direction that I like, so that's good. area. Just touching up sides. know what will happen when I torch it. I'm hoping a whole bunch of little cells don't take over. Yay, they did not. Success. this area. Much better, much, much better.
Oh my gosh, this chair is driving me nuts. I really like how it turned out. I did not think that I was going to get something at first. This area is so pretty. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Bye. Hi, I just want to update you as to how this one dried. I usually don't do updates on the same video um, as I poured on it, um, but I am absolutely in love with this. It's so pretty. So pretty. So very, very happy and we'll definitely be using this technique again. Thanks for watching.